Okay. Hi, everybody. I wanted to quick record a video demonstrating how to take a Shiva plug, a dev kit Shiva plug, basically out of a box, upgrade U boot, and get it ready to boot off of an SD card. The process is very well documented, but providing a video might make the process a little easier and more familiar for some people. Baud rate out of the box is 11.2, otherwise everything else is default. I'll go ahead and say OK, and I will connect. Shiva plug comes, the dev kit comes from Marvel or Globalscape, whoever else makes them. They have, and it varies, either Ubuntu or Debian Linux installed on the NAND memory banks inside this. Um, and the default user, Unix user to log in is root, and the password is no soup, the number four, and then the letter U, no soup for you if you're a Seinfeld fan. And I typed it in right. So I'm not connected over Ethernet. I'm connected serially. The key thing we're going to do is reboot this box. Before the OS is loaded, the bootloader kicks in. So the bootloader gives you a small window of time to intercept it and reconfigure it and manipulate it. So we're just going to wait here. And if I just start hitting the enter key, you can see this is the bootloader here. And it's just, there we go. I interrupted it. We had about three seconds there. I have a command prompt now. So I can type in the command version. And we can see that this device has a bootloader version of 3.4.16. So that's not going to be able to reliably boot from SD cards. If you're ever unsure what you can do, you can type help. There's a ton of stuff in here. Don't worry about it if you don't understand it all. In our case, uh, I'm going to get this thing on the network. So I will type DHCP. It's going to go ahead and grab an IP address off the network. You can manually assign an IP address as well. So we can see that it's grabbed an IP of 190. Here, the example here, they've actually set the IP of the machine by hand. And the set and server IP, that's essentially the IP of your server. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I know that this machine I'm running on, which is my Mac, I have a little TFTP server here. Um, on Windows, on Linux, on Mac, there's many options for TFTP. It's very easy to set up. There's no sense me duplicating it in detail. Go Google it, to be perfectly honest. On the Mac, if you're using the Mac, if you're lucky enough, uh, a great app is TFTP Server. It's really simple. <clears throat> so I've essentially shared out a directory that I've dropped three files in. The only one we care about is the uboot.bin, and that's an updated bin file that you can get off of this site here. That's this link right here, basically. Let me zoom in. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Binary. You can get newer binaries off the plugcomputer.org website as well. Um, that's secondary. So with this app here, I'm going to go ahead and start the TFTP server. And what I will do now is running this command here, the, the uboot updater. It's going to obviously pull the file with the same name and then update the flash in this device. So. Okay, this is important. Um, it's not the end of the world, because I actually did it the wrong way the first time. It's asking, uh, do we wish to override the environment parameters? That's all these settings. The environment parameters in U-Boot dictate what device it boots from, how, what regions of memory it loads things in. It's fairly elaborate settings. If you do this, it's going to reset a lot of things to default. You should say no. You should press N. I pressed Y wasn't the end of the world, I was able to follow all these parameters and instructions on this site and I still got my first Shiva to work. Um, by the way, on my other Shiva that I bought, I actually wrote down or captured the default and end parameters. So if you're ever concerned, you can ask somebody for a copy or if I get time, I'll post them. So I'm going to say no, I want to preserve those settings. 
So it's going to go ahead and flash this now, and it's done. So if I type in version, oops, my delete key doesn't work. But if I reboot, or is it reset, I think, I'll go ahead and hit enter. I'll type version. And we can see that we've now upgraded U-Boot on a Shiva. So the other half of it is configuring a Shiva plug to boot off of an SD card <clears throat> and to specifically boot Linux off an SD card. And if we go back out one page, it's all detailed here. So I'm going to go ahead and commit these settings in. Okay, and we're going to, and literally this is copy and pasting as long as you're careful about it. So this command here stores your settings. Until you use the save them command, what you've entered as parameters won't be committed. Now that we've upgraded U-Boot, we have to tell it what we want to boot from. And either we're going to boot from a USB hard drive or an SD card. So in our case, we simply follow these instructions here. So we'll just copy these items line by line. It's the first one in. My terminal program is interpreting end of line with carriage return when I paste these in. So I'm not having to hit enter most of the time. And this one, make sure we get the quotes. And then the final command is save end. So if I go ahead and reset this device now, what we should see happen is it fail to boot. 3, 2, 1, auto boot. Because it hasn't found anything on an SD card. Um, there is an SD card in this unit. It's brand new from the factory. It's formatted FAT32. FAT16 or FAT32. It doesn't have a Linux file system. It's looking for a boot partition. It's not there. So if I had an SD card actually flashed with plug PBX at this point, the device would have booted up, powered up, and ran. So this is basically it. This is the process. Um, that's how you upgrade U-Boot, and that's how you configure U-Boot to boot from an SD card. And I hope that's some help to some people.